it's about to get warm. No, I mean really warm. Like, it's never been this warm in February warm. On the flip side, it's gonna be frigid in the upper Midwest and Northern Plains, where the air masses collide. A major snow and ice storm will be likely, and yes, that means another chance for severe weather in the Deep South. If you're new here, I'm meteorologist Jonathan Kegis, and we talk and track all things weather. Post in the comments what the weather is doing where you're watching from. We are going to start with the temperatures. If you're looking for more on the snowstorm itself, I have the chapters listed in the description. You can click on that, and it'll take you right to where you want to go. But the temperatures are crazy, so you're going to want to stick around for this. Really, Tuesday morning is the start of the intrusion of some arctic air we're used to this though these are bearable 10 15 degrees below zero creeping into the eastern dakotas and into northern minnesota we have some of that warmth in the orange here trying to advance to the north watch what happens these are the overnight lows again now as we move into wednesday morning we start to see that arctic air get a little further south where i'm outlining here with my telestrator Above this line is where we're talking about zero degrees or colder. So some big time cold here. In this pink color here, we're talking 20 to maybe 25 degrees below zero right across the northern tier of the country. As we move into Thursday morning, the Arctic air gets further south into northeast Utah, Colorado, into Nebraska. Look at this, the core of that cold. Still over the Dakotas, 15 degrees to 20 degrees below zero it intensifies further on friday morning widespread 15 to 30 degrees below zero especially with this pink color showing up that's going to be the core of the cold meanwhile that warmth there these are overnight lows in the 60s continues to advance towards the mid-atlantic now i'm going to show you what gets really really crazy of course that cold we're used to in the upper midwest and northern plains we are now going to take a look at this. You can clearly see the warmth in orange. We have 60s getting into Columbus, Ohio. This is Wednesday afternoon. We just talked about those crazy cold temperatures in Kansas and Nebraska, but look at southeast Kansas. Low to mid-70s, Panhandle of Nebraska, not that far of a drive away. We're talking single digits. So a huge crazy divide, and it's right in this battle zone area that is going to help to get that big winter storm rolling not to mention the deep south look at that we're talking upper 80s maybe even low to mid 90s in extreme south texas speaking of 90s we have those show up through the florida peninsula forecast for orlando florida on thursday afternoon is 91 degrees if that comes into fruition which i think it will that would break the all-time high temperature record for the month of February. The current record is 90 degrees. Look at the 80s. Closing in on Richmond, Virginia. 80s all the way through North and South Carolina. Just insane amounts of warmth. 70 in Pittsburgh. 70s as well, just outside of Philly. I don't think the crazy warmth quite makes it to New York City as that storm would kind of be rolling in this direction. We're talking 40s and 50s nonetheless the big time warmth south of that line crazy records could be broken the other crazy thing to note again it's february but the longevity of this we do have some of that cold forcing the warmth back to the south but notice through new mexico arizona and still southern virginia and point south the ridiculous abnormal heat is going to continue if you just happen to be enjoying this video or find it helpful please hit that thumbs up button it does help me out more than you know now the difference in temperature is what drives the weather the crazy differences in temperature across the country will help to create a massive storm we're going to pick this up now this is the european rendition on monday and we have some snow through western Montana into the mountains of Idaho and into northwest Wyoming. We have another piece of it. There's the low pressure right there. Little clipper system moving through Minnesota to bring us a, a little bit of accumulating snow. Nothing crazy with these. You see that clipper there by Tuesday morning is now moving through the Great Lakes. Again, that is not our main system. Our main system, and it's kind of a weird one. I'll show you why in a second, but look at it. There's a very expansive area of snow. And then as we move into Tuesday night into Wednesday morning, this is the early morning hours of Wednesday, 
you kind of see it eject out of the Rockies. So we have a ton of snow. Now into Utah, Arizona, the higher elevations, through Nebraska, southern Minnesota, extending like that. This is great news, again, for Lake Mead, that drought situation, as we have the snow falling right where we need it to for when it warms up to drain down the Colorado River. So just a side note there that this is going to be a positive for that. Look at this system really light up. Chicago, we're going to be right on the fringe here, but I think we might get ice out of the deal. That's what that pink color is. And then as we move into the afternoon and evening where we are looking for the potential for severe weather is going to be later on Wednesday. That's going to be right here again in that battle zone. As we take this out further, there goes the snow expanding to the east and into New England. So if you're watching along the I-95 corridor, it's been an awful winter if you like snow. Not only are we going to miss out on the shorts weather, but then we also miss out on the snow, so it's going to be just an ugly 40-ish, 50 degrees. I mean, I guess if we don't like snow, we'll take that. But nonetheless, kind of just right in the middle. What we are looking at now are the European Ensemble probabilities for six inches of snow or more, and there is a huge footprint here. This is going to be all the way through Friday evening. We have some more mountain snow in the Cascades. We have more mountain snow in the Sierras coming as unrelated to that main system. What we're focused on here, you see the mountains, the Rockies getting in on some nice snow. But here we go. This is our main footprint. And the darker the color here, the higher the probability that you will see six inches of snow. So that's right around the Twin Cities, Rochester. Madison, Wisconsin, Green Bay. This is likely going to be to the north of Detroit, but still too early to tell for specifics on where the heaviest snow is going to set up. And then right on through upstate New York into Vermont, New Hampshire, and then right smack dab through central Maine. Rapid City, we're going to get in on that, it looks like. Same deal with Sioux Falls, South Dakota. And then right along the Minnesota-Iowa border. Darker reds indicate where we have that highest opportunity for Six inches or more. No. We are certainly used to the bitter cold in Minnesota, in the Dakotas, in Montana, Idaho, into Wyoming, upper Midwest, northern plains, including Nebraska, Kansas. It's the heat. That's the bigger end of this deal here in terms of the unprecedented nature of what is going to happen this week. Again, we're talking upper 80s and lower 90s for a four or five day stretch. Some places have never seen this much heat ever in the month of February. Thanks so much for tuning in, guys. Love to know where you're tuning in from. Post that in the comments, and if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you love talking and tracking the weather, please consider subscribing, and we will catch you next time.